Hey. Hey neighbor, it's Ryan from Hippie Witch Heart, and I come to you in my Dad Does Acid t-shirt to, well, button up, I guess. My Dad Does Acid shirt to do another day of Vlogmas. Yeah! If this is your first time being here, we start Vlogmas out every day with a brew crew. We start all of our videos with brew crew, actually. If you would like to support the brew crew, you can do so at the Kofi link in the bottom. Buy us a brew. We might shout you out on one of our videos. We're gonna start off with our advent calendar, as always, grapefruit micro light. All right, grapefruit flavor, sugar-free, low calorie, vegan, five electrolytes, nine vitamins, and zinc. You know the deal. Pop this one off, open your thing and throw it in there. And we're gonna give this a few minutes to get situated. Don't forget, we are still doing the giveaway. More details of that is in the description. We just have to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of December. So let's go. We're gonna go through the big advent calendar again. These are both still available on the Water Drop website. Non-spawn, although Water Drops, I am really open to it. I love your stuff. This, this one is peach iced tea, which we talked about in the last one. The iced teas are pretty much my favorite flavor that they have. I've gotten way better at opening these boxes and I'm really happy about that. Should we open some yarns? Let's open some yarns. In our last Vlogmas video, I unboxed the Rainbow Splash from Craftedly Dyed Yarn, and today we're gonna undo, we're gonna undo, we're gonna open the remainder. So I bought one skein of a uh, specific themed yarn, and then the rest were just randoms. So let's dive into this. Also, if you're shopping any of these people, do it through the links to their websites that I gave you. I know that Butterfly Farm doesn't have Butterfly Fiber Farm. Say that five times fast. They don't have an actual website. They just have their Etsy. Tony's work, so do that. But everybody else, go to their actual website. Etsy takes ridiculous fees from these makers, and it is super important to support them and give them love <laughs> through their product that actually goes into their pocket. Like, your, your money goes way further on their websites than it does through Etsy, and they get to keep more of it. And nine times out of 10, it's gonna be cheaper. So reach out to them on social media. I've tagged everybody in the video that they're in. Do it, support them. And makers, if you have stuff that you want me to say about your stuff, I've already bought the product. Like, shout it, tell me, because I want to support you as best I can. Like, this is fun. And if any of you have spots on your PR lists, your girl's ready. This is one that I'm really excited for. Ella, are you really gonna start eating dinner right now? Titties. You can't wait till I finish this video? <laughs> Thank you. My dog was like, no, it's time for dinner. Get out of my way. So this yarn is called Starry Night. It is off the painting and I, this is the photo, and I saw this and immediately went, oh, I need that. And I wanted to buy more of them, but they only had two or three in stock and they were already in somebody else's cart. And I don't know how that works with Etsy, but I couldn't buy it. So Lauren, if you're watching this, I need more of this. This is gorgeous. 75%. Superwash Merino, 25% nylon, 460 yards, 100 grams. It has the lot number on here, which is really nice. For those of you that don't understand why that's important, if you're making a project with multiple skeins of the same color, skeins, skeins, whatever, and you want to make sure that they match, you want to use stuff from the same dye lot because that means that the color saturation is going to be the same. The pattern might be a little different because they're hand dyed and that's just what happens, like the saturation there, but the the pigmentation and like the colors used, that's all going to be the same across lots. So if you have one project that requires like three of these and two of them are from the same lot and one of them isn't, the colors could look different. So lot numbers, super helpful. But look at it. Look at that. It is gorgeous. Even the train, oh, we'll go this way. Even the transition from the yellow to the blue, like that's so freaking pretty. I'm in love with this yarn. And this blue is so, look at, look at how deep it is. Look at how saturated that is. It's so good. Super soft. And this was what, 460 yards? Like, great. I wanted to get two or three of these and just make an entire thing of the colors. I don't know what it's gonna look like worked up. We'll find out because I have my winder now. So in another video I plan on just ranking all of the yarns while I wind them all in the background. And by ranking I mean rating them. Not like against each other but just in general. Like snobby review style. For those of you that don't know what that is, Tony Teal Yarn Crafts, again shouting her out because she's fabulous. She does a yarn snob reviews and I am not a yarn snob but I am a snob, so I'm more than happy to do one of those reviews too. And now we get into the randoms. So these are, I think, eight, right? Four, four. Yeah, these are eight different things, and you don't get to pick. 
they just come to you. So this is like Butterfly where I did the pack and Tony picked them. And Tony picked them in a way that it like, they all work together and they're gradient, which was beautiful. Thrilled for that to happen. Lauren didn't. Lauren just threw a bunch of shit in a bag and I'm super excited to see what I got. So we're gonna start with this one first. This one is, I think they're all the same as far as measurements go. I'm pretty sure because I picked sock for all of them. So this is gonna be 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, which is the same as this. It's just gonna be smaller. And this one is called Mr. Narwhal. I wasn't expecting to have the colorways written on here, so this is cool because a lot of makers do minis of their their regular ones. Like they're, um, if they don't have enough left over to make one of these or, cause these are the same type of material, right? So if they don't have one of these to make a full one, they can just make minis and still sell the product. And minis are perfect because as we've seen, most of the projects that I picked out to make with my yarn mist, yarn are all mini skeins because I want like pops of color and different things in them and then they're really individual and one of a kind because we can be making the same pattern and using a bunch of different colors and it'll turn out differently every time which is a great way to keep your patterns fresh like you can make the same pattern 40 50 different times as long as you're doing it with different colors and different yarns it's going to look different and serve different purposes invest anyway this is Mr. Narwhal it looks very similar to Starry Night which is exciting it's like a lighter um, almost like pastel-ish. Like the yellow on this one is really bright and then this one is more of the gold, um, like sunflower color, but then the opposite for the blues. Like this is super dark and this is super like light and teal. Love it, Mr. Narwhal. This one is a tonal, so it's all one color. Well, it has a little bit of the hand dyed, so it'll have different things, but this is all one. This one is called Red Wine, which if anyone knows what I do for a living, I work in wine. This is fun. This is just serendipitous. Another tonal. This one is denim. Oh, do we have any Drag Race fans in here? Let's just pause pause in the chat for a minute. Uh, anybody watching Canada's Drag Race season four? Because I'm I only watched the first episode. I still have to. Or I watched the first two episodes, so I still have to watch more and see what's going on. But denim, this drag is so interesting to me. Just throwing that out there. Do we have anyone who else? Anyone who else? Do we have anyone else who likes them? Uh, don't talk to me about the girlfriend experience because I'm obsessed with her and I already know what happened, so I'm very sad. I guess spoilers, but it's also like two weeks later, so you should know by now if you're watching it. Denim! This one looks really cute. This is called Christmas Cookies. Look at that. Look at those little pinks and blues. I would have thought this was a springtime color. Oh, it has yellow in it too. would have thought this was like a springtime color, but I get the like confetti going on with this. So this one is called... Peach Coral. It looks exactly like what the name is, so good on you for being accurate. Eggnog. Again, I wouldn't have guessed eggnog. I'm gonna put that one closer so you can make up girlies. See it? It's like yellows and creams. It's fun. This doesn't make me think eggnog like Christmas and holidays. This makes me think eggnog like egg custard. Just because it has that... I don't know what this is. Just because it has that color going for it. Silent Night. I got a lot of holiday themed ones. Fun. Well, I guess it's just whatever you have available then. Blue with little patches of pale colors in there. That's really cute too. This one is called Fireworks. Look at that. It's like grays and blacks with some maroons and deep purples in there. I'm not a huge dark color fan. I like this. Those are all my minis. Which one's your favorite? Tell me in the bottom, which one of these is your favorite? Was it Mr. Narwhal, Christmas Cookies, Silent Night, Red Wine, Red, 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 okay, sorry. Eggnog, Denim, Peach Coral, or Fireworks? Which one did you like the most? Thank you, Lauren. Uh, right. Thank you, Lauren. Oh, that was almost bad. For sending me those. They're fun picks, and they weren't bad. They were, I think they were like 4 or $5 each. What does it say? Yeah, they were like five bucks each, which is great. And then I had a coupon, obviously, through Etsy. And then free shipping. And I'm pretty sure she sent me a coupon in the Etsy message, too. So go shop for fun yarns. All right, let's taste things. I like grapefruit soda. I don't know if I like grapefruit flavored electrolytes. Hmm. Carrie, this one's for you. Um, it smells sweet. And it smells like drink powder. 
so I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a face. Enjoy. It's a no for me, dog. It's a no for me. This is, and I'm going to keep drinking it. Hmm. I don't enjoy this. I don't think I like the micro lights. It's just what we're going to go with. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think I like the micro lights because I did the blueberry one already. I did the grapefruit one. Oh, there's a melon one too. I don't like it. Oh no. Oh no, man. It's a no for me. Yeah. Okay. I gotta go. Thank you so much for coming. I will see you in our next Vlogmas video. You have a good night. Links are in the description. Like, share, subscribe. Goodbye. <laughs>